Hi, Concord here. So today I'm going to tell you about my experience with the Project Audio DS and S2 Phono preamps. So I'll start off with the DS. It's mainly been really positive and that's the Phono preamp that I have hooked up to my vinyl record player. And I've had it for quite a few years now. It served me really well. I went from a $120 solid state Phono preamp to this DS phono tube preamp and the difference was noticeable straight away I, I thought it was great and one now that i've been using this i'm using it with the audifon bronze cartridge and it works really well i haven't had any issues with it since i've had the ds for over three years now i did recently change the tubes and that's the one thing i didn't like about this unit it isn't user friendly with changing tubes but other than that, it produces a really nice sound. And when I had a comparison, I went to the, I had to put my gear in storage and I went to the Little Bear T11, which is a great little tube amp for the price. That's my opinion, you might think differently, but I thought for the price, the T11 was great. When I went back to my DS, the difference between the two, the DS had quite a bit more clarity, the, the clarity was there. But the T11, still really like that. For the price, I thought it was great. Um, the the unit, the DS, is really well built. It's a solid unit. Uh, I know there's a newer model out. I have to wonder if they've gone that similar kind of design where it's hard to get the tubes out to swap them over because tubes don't last forever. They, um, like I, I think after three years, I changed mine. And that's the thing about tubes. They'll slowly degrade over time it's a really slow kind of progress so you might not it's not like an overnight i oh, they sound bad um i swapped the tubes over after three years and i did actually notice a difference but also i noticed a difference because i was a different tube it wasn't a huge jump in sound but just in in terms of i found when i went this different tube it was a little bit brighter um yeah that's probably the only thing i'd say about the ds changing the tubes was quite uh, it was, wasn't great. Anyway, I'm go, I'll go on to the Project Audio S2. Great little unit. It's not big. It works really well. It works with MM and MC cartridges. It has all the settings there, so you can change everything to get it to um, to your cartridge likings. Project Audio, I think it comes with a manual to adjust everything you need to do. Um, this is the phono preamp that my wife uses. Now I've left the covers off because she likes the, the glowing tubes. That's one thing. If you're going to leave the covers off, don't go touching the tubes. They get quite warm. And if you're going to change the tubes, do it when the unit's off and it's cold. And um, you don't, don't want to go, because well, as I said, the tubes get warm. You don't want to go um, hurting yourself. Um, great little unit. Easy to swap the tubes out. One thing I will say about the unit, I did not use the tubes that came with it. And the reason being, I had, as I mentioned before, I had the Little Bear T11. I used the tubes out of those because they're already worn in and ready to go. And I hadn't used those tubes. I think I've been using them for six months. So I'm ready to go, put them straight into this Project Audio S2 phono preamp, and it worked beautifully. Uh, my wife is using the Autophon Blue cartridge uh, that blue cartridge value for money i think it's a uh, beautiful cartridge the autophon blue um use it with this phono preamp sounds great happy with the tubes um and as you can i'm going to show you this little video of me hooking everything back up with my ds i have left everything i try to leave everything quite um like clutter free um, because I did used to get a hum and I found my ground cable was next to some power cable and I uh, it wasn't a good wasn't in a good spot before so now I try to keep everything clean the cables clean which I cables are normally always but I had to really made the effort to make sure there's no clutter on on top of the um, hi-fi rack and I don't want any distortion or noise interference coming in so this is how I've set it up it's, it works well but look, um, 
I'll leave it leave it there. I hope you've liked this video. Um, that's my experience with the um, DS and the S2. I may upgrade them at some stage, but I'm really happy with them. Really happy with them, and I think for the for the money, they're they're pretty good. They give you a pretty good sound. Um, if you do buy one and you got the tubes, I believe tubes need a little bit of time to wear in. So maybe give it a good week. Um, hopefully that's the case. I mean, sound is subjective. You might buy one and go, you know, just, that sounds terrible. I don't like it. And that's the thing with hi-fi. or um, It's all subjective and personal. So, But I'm really happy for me. It, it's worked out really well. I think tubes are my, my sound. So anyway, that's it. I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. And see you next time.